Welcome back to my LJ and Customs channel. Um, this time around, I'm going to redo um, one of my, that's a pretty popular video, I guess, uh, is to make the flesh tone for uh, some of your wrestling figures. Uh, part of the problem is matching all the different shades that you might have or want to whatever you have. So, some of these figures are pale. Some of these figures are a little more tan. Some of these... <clears throat> I just want to keep the LJN Customs color, uh, or some, yeah. So anyways, um, I'm just going to do this in a little bits and pieces. Uh, it won't take too long, but your primary colors that you're going to use. Uh, and last time I did this, I made way too much, and it just wasn't great. So uh, I'm going to redo it because I'm going to just do a little at a time. So uh, this is Sunkissed Peach. This is going to be your primary color that you're going to have. And this is going to be what I dump the most of into my little container. I'm going to dump quite a bit in there because I want this to last me for a little while. So I do about that much in there. And then let me turn on another light over here. I always forget I have this light. It kind of helps things out there. Where you go. Um, so then from that point on, it's just a little bit of each color. I only do a couple drops at a time because that way I can mix it up. And then I add these colors to it uh, all at one time. So if it needs darkened, I'll drop more of the yellow, orange, and red in. And it's a flag red. Uh, that's my primary red that I like. Uh, yellow, plain old yellow, and then jack-o'-lantern orange because they didn't have a straight orange. And the difference between the app. apricot, apricot, I don't know, and the jack-o'-lantern. Uh, I like the jack-o'-lantern a little bit. Of a deeper color, <clears throat> color, excuse me. So now I'm gonna add some of the red, and so that's what I've got. Um, so what I'll do is I'll grab one of my bigger brushes, one I don't really care so much for, um, just one that's a nice bristle on it, not anything too rough, uh, and I want it a little bit bigger because I'm gonna to uh, mix this up, and I'll just do it here in my legs. Forgive my soccer pajama pants. It'll take a little bit of time to mix that up. I use the like cottage cheese or chip dip containers because they're good for um, holding it and then doing a lot of the mixing. So here's what I've got so far. What I have is what I've used before on a little almost palette, and you can see that that's way, way, way too light. So I'm going to add more of my yellow, orange, and red. I'm gonna go quite a bit more because I've got a lot of peach in there. So to kind of dumb it down a little bit, it's gonna take some more. So that's about what I've got in there. Back to my handy mixing part. So tell me if my fly is open. It's not, I checked. Nothing fancy in the mixing department. So still a little too rosy. It's getting a little better. So um, this time around, I'm actually going to add a little bit of brown. Let's see if that does it. I've got, I don't like my brown oxide. Uh, let's see. That's the problem with browns. There's like 8,000 brown colors. Uh, yeah, let's use a nutmeg. Use a nutmeg brown. Mm, second thought. Uh, let's use what's left of melted chocolate. It's a little bit darker. It's not like there's a light brown, dark brown. It's just one or the other. That's a big old splurge. All right. So let's see that darken it up a little bit. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. You can see how it doesn't have the like rosy tones to it. right now a little bit better so again it all depends like I did this figure and that wouldn't be too bad so you can see they're still not what I want it to be so I think I'm gonna add a little more orange a little more 
more red. I'll hold off on the yellow for now. <clears throat> this is my day off from school project. Got a nice little ice snow day today. I'm sure all my students appreciated that as well. Make sure you're dragging around the edges so you don't uh, you don't get any other colors you don't want. Okay, still not dark enough for me. Let's try one more time with this. All right, that brown's done. Uh, let's see, where's my nutmeg? Let's try the nutmeg. Trial and error, children. Trial and error. Mostly error. Some more error. So you get it how you want it to be. See, a little more flesh tone. darker. Should be getting there soon. All right, I think that's dulled it quite a bit. All right, so here's, your, like I said, my test palette. You can see how it's gotten darker as I've added more of the brown. Um, the best part for the trial and error is to like actually put it on a figure that you want and then see if that actually works. Um, right now, I don't have any figures that I need to paint, although I will fairly soon here. So what I'll do is I'll put this coat on and then see what I need to do because um, I need a base color anyways. And then if I add, need to add to it, I can add to it. But there's where we're at right now. It looks a little bit different on camera than it does otherwise. So again, it's trial and error. Just keep adding what you need. That sunkissed peach is your main color. Then yellow, red, then jack o' lantern. And then that nutmeg brown or any kind of brown, really, that's going to deepen the tone a little bit until you get to what you want to be. And not every figure is going to be the same. Um, as I've got my customs, uh, let's see, at Rick Rude back there, he's a little bit of a deeper tone than, say, uh, that I did on these guys. They're a little bit lighter. So it all depends on what I need at the time period. And even blue blazer over there is a little bit color but those were all <coughs> excuse me completely painted so there you go good luck with the flesh tone and uh um, hopefully it turns out well for you if you have any questions uh, just put them down in the comments and i'll help out as i can thanks a lot bye